my name is Stephen Bax and I'm Professor of Applied Linguistics here at the University of Bedfordshire. I've studied different languages over many years, including Arabic in the Arab world. I used to work in Baghdad and have studied in Damascus as well. Um, and I found out about the Voynich Manuscript two years ago, listening to a programme on the radio. And looking at the manuscript in detail, I was really interested to see the script, which is uh, particularly curious. And the point about the manuscript is, although it's quite large, no one's ever been able to crack the script or the language. It's a very interesting, strange, unique script. And it's been around for hundreds of years. It's, it's thought to be 15th century. Uh, it's carbon dated to around about 1420. But no one's yet managed to crack any element of the script or language. So with my interest in linguistics in my professional life and also my study of Arabic and other languages, I thought I'd try and see what I could come up with. The manuscript has lots of wonderful pictures of um, stars and planets and uh, zodiac circles and lots of semi-naked women in green water bathing and so on, uh, besides all the plants and, and so on. So people have looked at the manuscript a lot from those aspects, but I was really interested in the script. And in particular, I, I tried to find patterns in the script linked with pictures, particular pictures, which might give us a clue to proper names in the script. And in doing so, I was following essentially a very old approach which was used to decipher Egyptian hieroglyphs in the 18th and 19th centuries, where Champollion, the French archaeologist and, and scholar, basically tried to find names of pharaohs, for example, Cleopatra or Ramesses, and link them with the sound system within the text, and then isolate each letter to say this letter must be a K or a R or an A, whatever it may be. And I tried to do the same in the Voynich manuscript by identifying, for example, there's a, a set of seven stars which many people have thought might be the Pleiades, which are in the constellation of Taurus. As some people call them the Seven Sisters. Um, and the word alongside these stars, some people have thought may be the word Taurus, because that's the constellation in which the Pleiades sit. So I basically took this a step further and tried to divide up the letters of that word and worked out that, yes, it probably is the word Taurus, but in a slightly different form uh, with the letter Ta, A, O, Ro, for example, linking with my study of Semitic languages and also Indo-European Indo languages. And using that methodology, I tried to link each sign with particular sounds, and then I moved on to various plants to do the same thing. In total, I decoded around about 10 words, provisionally, of course, we still need to check them and be sure of them, uh, which comprise around about 14 or 15 signs. Um, now, this might seem very little at this stage, but it's the first ever uh, decoding of the manuscript since 1420, basically. Uh, so it may seem small, but I think for me and for uh, many others, it's at least a, a small breakthrough which might help us to get to crack the whole manuscript as a whole. Well, the Voynich manuscript has had many different theories uh, proposed for it. Uh, some people think that it's um, a complete hoax. Uh, it's now been carbon dated from the 15th century, so it's most likely, if it is a hoax, to have been a 15th century hoax, which I personally don't believe. But some people think it's just gobbledygook, it's just uh, an invention to make money, somebody made it to fool people and make money. Um, other people think it's probably a code. In other words, someone encoded lots of secrets in it, uh, hoping that no one would find out. And if so, that's been very successful because no one's cracked it so far. But in my opinion, it is actually a genuine script, obviously a, a human devised script, but masking behind it a genuine human language. In a language which seems to me to have more, if you like, Near Eastern, maybe Caucasian, uh, Asian aspects to it rather than European because of some of the words that I've decoded. Um, so I would imagine that once we've actually managed to decode the script, we'll find that the language underneath is a, a natural human language, probably from that part of the world. And the book as a whole seems to me to be a treatise on nature. So, for example, the first pages have lots of plants, and I think they, they include the name of the plant, the medical use of the plant, and probably the origin of why the medicine was developed, and so on. And then you have an astrological section, and so on, through the book. Basically, telling us, telling human beings about nature, communicating wisdom about nature to other members of the group. That's what I suspect the manuscript is all about in the end.